homeless man killed in last night's hit and run lived on the streets near where he died. And the situation has shelters in the area worried. They say typically one homeless person dies outside in any given year, but this year that number has quadrupled. Last night's fatality happened on Winchester Road at Elkhorn, not far from I-75. Carolina Buchek has more in the LEX 18 Big Story at 5. For the homeless community, last night's hit and run here was the fourth time in recent months that one of their own has been killed on Lexington streets. They say it's happening far too often, so the area shelters are trying to come up with ways to make the homeless more visible when they're on the road, perhaps by using reflective clothing. The coroner says 44-year-old Eddie Joe Carroll was crossing Winchester Road by Elkhorn Road when he was hit by a car. Police say the driver took off and left him on the ground. The driver has since been found and has been questioned by officers, but leaders at the Catholic Action Center say more and more homeless people are being killed outside. Just in the past three months, one was murdered, but three others were hit by cars. So shelters want to do something to help. They're hoping to come up with some type of reflective gear that could be handed out through the Compassionate Caravan. We can hand them something and say, wear this in case you're crossing the street. Police say the driver, a 25-year-old woman from Winchester, has not had any charges filed against her now. They say that she told them it was dark and she just did not see the man. Covering the news in Lexington from the LEXAT Mobile Newsroom, back to you.